Some families are combining the holidays. In addition to feasting on turkey and stuffing today, many also went Christmas tree hunting. News 13's Megan Shearing shows us why one local tree farmer is anticipating a rush of customers this weekend. You ready? Since the early 80s, Sandy Holler Farms in Leicester, you guys are the judges, has been making families smile. If I get in the middle of our tree, there we go. Everybody say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And this Thanksgiving, they are keeping up with tradition. Okay, here it comes. Timber! The Lannings drove nearly an hour and a half just to get here. They are like several other families who are spending their turkey day searching for the perfect Christmas tree. It was so worth it and it was so beautiful. We saw the snow covered hills and the cows grazing. It was awesome. The kids were squealing all the way. The Fraser fur strapped to this man's car will also be traveling a great distance, 237 miles east to Chapel Hill. My wife is, is really big on having the tree up the day after Thanksgiving. So no matter where we do it, we usually get it the, the day of or the day after. Owner Dale Hawkins says with Thanksgiving falling on November 28th, the window for folks to prepare for Christmas is tight. It also means Sandy Holler Farms has to condense their selling season. We'll be a whole lot busier today, to this whole weekend and next weekend. Mm -hmm. And we hope that the weather stays pretty decent. But for Wendy Taylor, none of those factors matter. Look right here. This is the one. This is the winner. She says tree hunting on Thanksgiving is a family tradition. It's just something that I wanted our family to be able to do every year. And Sandy Holler Farms is proud to be a part of that year after year. Reporting in Buncombe County, Megan Shearing, News 13.